What's up guys and welcome to a special series, it's Chainplay, Pokemon Fire Red version. So in case you're wondering, what is this mysterious concept of Chainplay that you speak of, I'm gonna try and make it a little easier for you to understand what's going on here. So, about a year ago, I actually did one with my internet pals of Mega Man X, and think of it basically like, after a certain part of a game, you hand off the controller to a friend, then he plays up to a certain part, and then you hand off the controller to another friend, and so on and so forth. So, with a game like Pokemon, what we've decided to do is, each person will play up to a gym leader, defeat that gym leader, and then pass it along to another Let's Player here on the interwebs of YouTube. So, since I am charged with the quest of taking on Brock here, episode 1, you know, I gotta go take on Brock, I'm gonna be doing that and then basically pass on this save file to Sully Pones, who I believe is in charge of episode 2. Then basically he'll play up to Misty, pass it along to someone else, and that person will play up to Lieutenant Surge, and so on and so forth. I think it's a really cool idea. I'm really excited to actually do this and see exactly what happens with our team. And because I'm part 1 here, well first off I'm dragging this on for a while, but uh... You know what, we've made it back to the title screen, I think it's about time we get this started, and I will go ahead and do so and continue explaining from there, because we do have that entire little Professor Oak cutscene going on. But yeah, since I'm episode 1 here, I get to dictate basically almost everything, our character's name, what gender he even is, what starter we get to choose, and basically set up the adventure for the rest of these innocent souls of YouTube that are doing this along with me, so... By the way, be sure to check out the rest of these parts, um, basically only part 1 will be up on my channel, but by the time you guys see this, every other part will be up, so if you have nothing to do on this beautiful Sunday, or whenever this goes, I, I really hope it goes up on Sunday now, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have dated it, it's probably pretty bad, but you know what we can date is our character, and what better way to date our character than with a beautiful name, like 81673. I put a little zero there, and maybe I should have kept it in. I, I don't really know. I wasn't feeling the zero, because we don't want our character to be a zero. We want him to be a hero. So, uh, we got a rival, too. We can name him Toru, or Kaz. Those are pretty good names, but, uh, I've always been a big fan of but. Uh, just, just but. Not, not butter, not but, uh, just but. Because we're real mature around here. But yeah, we basically get to dictate exactly how this adventure begins, and as I was saying, be sure to check out part 2 and the rest of the parts in the description. Um, I'm pretty sure there's also going to be some kind of intro or outro at the end or at the beginning of this video where you guys can check out the rest of the parts. And one thing I really like about this chain play that uh, a lot of people gave us feedback on in the first one that I did a while ago, I think these guys actually did one of Super Mario Brothers that I was not a part of a few months ago as well. Um, so one really cool thing is you get to see how all of these other Let's Players, basically how they handle their videos, and uh, I really encourage you guys to go and check the rest of them out, and if you enjoy a certain part of the chain play, be sure to check out the rest of those guys' channel. And then, uh, you know, you got a bunch of other cool dudes to watch on YouTube, because we gotta spread the love. I think that's what I'm all about right now, is spreading the love over to the other great guys of YouTube. So if you enjoy any of the other parts, go check out the rest of their channels, and, uh... A lot of them do other stuff other than Pokemon, so if you're into other games other than Pokemon, go ahead and check those out. But, enough plugging things here. Butt plugging? What, what am I doing right now? Let's not go into that direction. Let's go into the direction of picking our starter Pokemon. So, we actually get to choose how our entire adventure will go here. And of course we have the choice of Bulbasaur. I don't think 81673 really is, out, is about that life though. And, I mean, I really like turtles, but I gotta go with my boy Charmander. I gotta say, you know, I think we gotta go with my boy Charmander. It's probably the one that most people will be expecting, and also the coolest Kanto starter, in my opinion. And, uh, as far as giving him a name here, this is for Sully, you know? We're gonna name it specifically for Sully here. So, we're gonna name it Sally. Even though it's a dude, that's fine. His name is Sally the Charmander. I mean, he's a salamander. Sally the salamander? That makes sense, right? Of course, our rival butt's gonna be a giant butt and pick up Squirtle there. No big surprise, because uh, I think this is a pretty cool start, too, because we're playing the first generation of Pokemon, which kind of sets it up, you know, if in the future we ever want to go back to this idea, um, we can always do the rest of the game. So we started off with the first generation. So if you guys actually enjoy this idea, be sure to let me know in the comments, and uh, as I said, check out the other ones, and let me know what you guys think of it overall, because... I'm pretty sure my channel has at least quadrupled since the last chain play we did, so I'm sure a lot of you out there haven't seen this idea before. 
and uh, I'm really excited for it, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing sort of a highlight clip here. Uh, everyone can sort of handle it the way that they like to do it as well, which is a cool thing, so you get to see a little glimpse of how people sort of do their editing as well, so I'm gonna be doing sort of like a highlights clip show or sort of a Pokemon by Red Abridged series kind of thing. Where I'm going to be showing you, I guess, the cool things that I end up doing in my adventure wherever I catch a Pokemon and whatnot. So, uh, that's also a pretty cool idea. So basically, we're going to get our starter here, kick our rival's butt, and then I'll see you guys at some other point whenever we catch something else. Because I'm sure most of you know how Pokemon Fire Red goes by now. Uh, so this is mainly focused on, uh, defeating the gym leaders and seeing what everyone caught along the way. I think it's going to be really interesting because with Pokemon, there's so much freedom for nicknames, so much freedom for like what Pokemon you get to catch. I don't know. There's just so, so much freedom and freedom is a good thing, right? The freedom writers love that. And I guess 81673 loves it too. Even though he's literally named like a robot, this might be like the Twitch plays Pokemon robot. I don't know. What if that's actually, this is actually the Twitch plays Pokemon robot right now. And that's his serial number. You can see it etched into the back of his hat right there. 81673. All right. So let's go ahead and mess with the options here. That's another thing we get to do. So we got to put that to fast. And we also get to pick a pretty frame. Oh, that one. That one's probably the prettiest. Uh, I apologize. That was, I don't know what happened to me there. I think something took over my body and made my voice go all weird like that. What do you think of that? That was pretty hot, right? Little girl? Are you actually a little girl? I don't know. Let's press the start button. Open the menu. That's great. 81673 is about to embark on the journey of his freaking life. 3080 gold money. Gold money? I don't know. Let's go on an adventure. And so 81673 embarked on a journey to deliver Oak's parcel. And then he delivered it and went back to Professor Oak, who was very, very grateful and gave us the Pokedex. And it was a grand fun time, and there were a lot of jokes about butts. And we also got a town map from Butt Sister, and that was pretty great, I guess, but... We eventually made our way back to Viridian City, because all the Pokemon in Route 1 suck. And we're back to Viridian City, except... Not really, except kind of we are back, but at the same time, I don't really know. Anyway, we've got two alternatives here for taking on Brock. Either we level up Charmander to level 13, I believe, which is when he learns Metal Claw, or the better option, in my opinion, which is to catch a beautiful little Pokemon that is found in this patch of grass, and his name is not Rattata, unfortunately. So, Sally, you might want to get out of there. I don't really want you to mess with those kinds of creatures. I'm not really a big fan of Rattatas. Let's see if we run into what I'm talking about. He oh, no, not, not Spearow either. I'm sure by this point you guys know what I'm talking about because Rock being, or Brock being a Rock type gym leader. Did I really just, just realize his name is Brock and he's a Rock gym leader. That's really great. But that's Mankey. Mankey is a fighting type, so he's going to be pretty good in that gym. Let's go ahead and burn this guy and hopefully we don't kill him. That would be awesome. We did get some Pokeballs from Professor Oak, so this is going to be our first official team member here. Or, well, I guess we do have Charmander, so second official team member because I don't really want to level up Charmander. I don't know, man. I think that we should actually just get rid of this Charmander. Sully's not really known to be the best at Pokemon as far as I know. You guys, you guys know Sully Pones. He's up next. Go check out the video. I've already mentioned this a few times, but uh, what we're going to name this guy here... Uh, something that I saw on the internet and I thought was pretty cool and I think it'll work out and that is going to be Oh snap he You'll see why we nicknamed it that in just a little bit, but that's our first team member We're gonna go ahead and head over to the Pokemon Center now because we got some business to take care of as I was saying I don't know if Sully's really the best Pokemon player in my experiences with Sully Pones He's visited me a few times here where I live and uh we played some Pokemon every once in a while, and he's not really the greatest. So, uh, I think that this will overall benefit the well-being of this chain play. We're gonna go ahead and deposit this Charmander. Head on over into that box, and, uh, since he's up against Misty, I think it's just better if we get rid of this guy. I mean, being honest, he's probably just gonna die. So, I think it's better if we just don't give him a Charmander. That way, he's not tempted to use it and lose to Misty, you know? I don't know. I feel like I'm making the right choice there. Maybe not. I'm sorry, Charmander lovers. Hey, look, an old man. He's had his coffee now, and that's really great. So now he's going to give us running shoes, maybe. Probably not. I really just want my running shoes. Can I please get my running shoes? Oh, wait. He's just going to teach us how to catch a Weedle. We should actually catch a Weedle. Let's go catch a Weedle. 
and so 81673 embarked on a journey with his new partner, Oh Snappy, to catch them all, except they didn't really catch them all, they just caught one Weedle and its name is B-Jobs, which is really funny. Trust me, it'll make a lot more sense when he evolves, because he's a bee and he, he gives B-Jobs because, because he's literally a bee. Anyway, intense training ensued and uh, pretty much meant battling a ton and ton of wild Pokemon so we could get Osnap to learn low kick and then kick some butt quite literally because it's a low kick and then we headed to Viridian Forest. Ah, Viridian Forest, what a great and peaceful place to have a picnic and talk to some pals. And by pals, I mean that guy. Hey, there's a free antidote. We're literally a robot, so we know where everything is. Beep boop, what's up? You over here. I don't think he's a trainer, actually, but that's okay. I leveled up our pal, O Snappy, which uh, you guys just heard the amazing narrator that I hired for this. It's totally not me. I, I actually hired a narrator to do that for me. I, I promise. I'm not... I'm not making this up, guys, but oh snap, he is level 6 now, which is pretty great. I think he learns Karate Chop relatively early, so I'm probably going to try to get that, though I'm pretty sure with just low kick, we can already take on Brock, and that's really all we need for this episode, is to defeat Brock, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll leave the training up to Sully. I'm sure he can handle it. Misty's, Misty's not too tough. I mean, a fighting type and uh, a B-job should be able to handle it. Maybe. Hopefully. Took us a while to kill that Caterpie, though. Pretty long time. Rock my socks off. B-Jobs is actually evolving already into a beautiful Kakuna. And I'm not really sure if Beedrill is going to be of much use in the upcoming Rock Gym. Considering both of his types are actually weak to Rock. But, hey, in my experience, old people know what they're doing. And that old guy told us to catch a Weedle. Well, I guess he didn't really tell us, but he caught a Weedle, so I think it's probably genius that we got one ourselves. So, uh, I think this is gonna go well. Moral of this chain play, listen to your elders, because that old guy told us to get Weedle, and I did it, and now we have probably the greatest Pokemon ever, so let's allow this elder here to teach us a thing or two as well. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. This guy speaks the truth, guys. This... This man knows what's up, so because of that, I have actually gone ahead and placed our pal B-Jobs up first, and we're gonna take on little boy, your 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Oh man, I'm so scared. 10,000 light years, that's, that's a really long distance. Light years, is, is that, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a distance. I read somewhere that light years is like a distance, instead of a, a time. I don't, I don't really know. Anyway, oh snap, he get in there because I, I think uh, B-Jobs would probably be in trouble there. So we're not quite the level to get Karate Chop, which I think he gets maybe next level. So let's hope that this little trainer here gives us that level that we need in order to get Karate Chop. Even though I think we should be okay with Low Kick because his Pokemon is Onyx, which is very, very heavy. Low Kick doing more damage depending on how much uh, heavier the other Pokemon is. Or I guess, is it depending on weight? Yeah, so... Onyx, pretty heavy guy, low kicking that thing will definitely make it har or fall harder. I guess the moral of that move is uh, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, literally. Wow, I just realized that. Low kick, literally, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's how that move works. That's great. Alright, so we're doing about zero damage to Sandshrew. Maybe Kakuna was not the smartest option here, but you know what? I'm respecting my elders. I'm gonna believe in that old man. I think he taught us a valuable lesson. And uh, it's going to pay off eventually. Maybe not with this trainer, maybe not with Brock, but eventually B-Jobs will do something amazing. I'm going to predict it right now. However, he won't get to do that if oh snap he dies here, so let's go ahead and not let oh snap he die. We also have Leer, actually, so we can just lower his defense if we actually need to. I don't even think we'll need to. Please stop lowering my accuracy so that I may take you out, Mr. Sandshrew. That would be awesome. It would be also awesome if you would not get those critical hits. Scratch that guy, and we didn't even kill it. Alright, oh snap, he fainted. Oh, oh snap, he fainted. But, B-Jobs, as I just predicted a literally a second ago, coming in to clean up. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. B-Jobs, the beast, the legend, the Kakuna. Growing to level 9 from that as well. Like, how much better than that can you get? Seriously. Darn! Light years isn't time. It measures distance. 
Another lesson learned here. Enough lessons learned though, this isn't school, this is Brock's gym! Quality joke right there, my rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. They're all rock hard and have true grit determination, just like Brock. And certain parts of him, like mainly his hair I'd say is probably the most rock hard true grit thing about him. Fine then, show me your best! Thought he was gonna say something else there, but it's just show me your best. So let's take on the first gym leader in this game, it's Brock, and then we'll be handing off this game, so uh, again, hope you guys check out the other parts. We're gonna start off with B-Jobs for whatever reason, I have no idea, he's gotta get the heck out of there. Oh snap, he enters the battle. He's gonna start off with the defense curl for us, not really gonna do too much, pal. I don't think so, no, 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 I'm gonna low kick you. He's literally a rock, like, he should be pretty heavy, low kick is gonna do tons of damage, but he's gonna keep low, or raising his defense, so, I don't know. Maybe if you were raising your dongers instead of your defense, it might be a little bit better. Literally, look at- Geodude literally looks like the raise your dongers guy. I'm pretty sure Geodude inspired that. Confirmed on my stream, guys. Geodude inspired raise your dongers, so... He's gonna keep raising his defense. I don't think Brock even bothers using potions, so... There goes Geodude! What a Geo... Geodude. What a Geodude. Uh, I couldn't come up with anything for that. I'm not clever enough, but... Next up is gonna be Onyx. We didn't get Karate Chop. I'm pretty sure we learn it at some point. Maybe we don't. I don't really know. Probably a way later level and I'm just being stupid. But the low kick is literally gonna take this guy out so fast because it's just a giant rock snake. And it's really heavy. And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. So Brock is about to fall pretty dang hard here. Oh snap! He leveled up. Or he, he grew to level 11. Close enough, guys. Wow. I guess I was right. We learned Karate Chop at level 11. Didn't even need it though. We've defeated Leader Brock. I took you for granted and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. And with that, we've now completed the first episode of Chainplay Pokemon Fire Red. So I'm sure somewhere towards the end of the video there will be something you can click to go on to the next part. Please be sure to check the rest of them out. And uh, leave a like on this video if you've enjoyed this idea. Let me know what you think of it. But, of course, no first episode of Chain Play is done without B-Jobs evolving into the beautiful Beedrill. Probably gonna be the best Pokemon ever against Misty. Sully, I really hope you enjoy this. I mean, I've, I've made this as easy for you as possible. I gave you B-Jobs and o snap -y. Like, literally, the only way this could be easier is if I also gave you a bunch of rare candies in the PC. Hint, hint, wink, wink. You know what I'm saying here. Alright, we're also gonna get the TM there, and uh, that's gonna wrap this up, guys. So, again, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other parts. I'm pretty sure I said that maybe 20 times in this video, but, uh, go do that. See you guys next time. If there is a next time. I don't know. Peace out!